everyone welcome back to anita's joint hashtag is in the joint where every day is payday baby you're tuned in to another esoteric football commentary with your girl anita flying high we are live i'm gonna be tuning in to see arsenal and city at metal park uh metal park yeah there you go uh yeah i'm looking forward to this match as you know it's very important for city uh well this is a semi-final match against uh, arsenal so it should be very interesting to see how you know arsenal end up doing with all this you know the uh, let's say the injuries that they have but i think they've had a pretty i think they have a pretty good um I mean, they have a good team even without their best players you know what i'm saying even without their best players they have a, a really good team uh, I'm just sharing everything on the social media so everyone knows on all the platforms that I'm live. So just give me a second. Um, so make sure if you, if you follow me on YouTube on Anita's Joint, make sure uh, you uh, now check the community tab because uh, I'm po posting a lot more in there uh, to let you know when I go live. As well as um, I don't really be on TikTok like that, but you know I, I posted on TikTok today. So uh, if you follow me over there, you can. Ugh. Let me go ahead and um, let me just the oh, freak. Okay, the ladies are here, walking out. Let's go. Uh, I got every, I, I, I I'm pretty sure I got everything correct. Uh, let me go ahead and get the audio for y'all, and uh, we gonna rock out. They lost their first two games of the season. They've won all eight in all competitions on their travels since then. So formidable opposition. In the way of Arsenal tonight at Boreham Wood, where Arsenal play the majority of their home games. Teams have met three times in the final of this competition. City lead that particular head to head by two wins to one. Victors in 2014 by a goal to nil. Arsenal won by the same score in 2018, and City took it on penalties in 2019. Extra time and penalties a possibility for us here tonight as well. Let's take a check on the two teams then and Arsenal show five changes from the side held at West Ham Sabrina D'Angelo gets a nod over Manuela Zinsberger in goal for her second appearance since arriving last month Weinreuter and McCabe replace Maritz and Catley at fullback whilst Palova and Cool come in to try and bolster a misfiring front line Gareth Taylor makes just two changes to the side from that which beat Leicester in the weekend Sandy McKeever has been the oh 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 season. Oh, I'm missing City's lineup. Hey, all right, Sandy, Preston, Alexandria, Alex Greenwood, Kennedy, of course, Hasegawa, uh, Angendal, Kelly, Shaw, him. Similar to the only difference I see is uh, the goalkeeper and Kennedy's back. Uh, so yeah. Let's go at Metal Park. I I was thinking maybe they play at the uh, the Emirates Stadium, but I guess not today. Um, I'm not. I know City play at the Emirates. I know City play at the Academy. Not fucking it. I know City play at the um the Eddie Head. I'm not too sure which match is gonna be. It may. Be, I'm not too sure if it's gonna be Arsenal or United or or even. Oh yeah, it was against United. Duh duh duh. Or uh, even, yeah, I wonder, I don't know when the next match will be, but, um, goodness. I think. Okay. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um. I hope y'all hyped for this game. I think I shared it on. I think I shared it on all the platforms I could as, as quick as as quick as possible. To be honest, let me just make sure. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, I shared it on Twitter with Gucci. Gucci, let's go. Let's go. Uh huh. Uh, of course, we're gonna light the uh, solar plexus chakra or the yellow candle for our um, confidence. Uh, and don't mind the black; it's just because it just be on fire. It just be on, you know. It just be on fire. Um, so yeah, for ten minutes, we're always working on our solar plexus chakra, our confidence chakra. 
continue to be in confidence confidence just continuing to stand in our power and to stand in your power you need to be assure yourself confident confident confidence is key uh, and that comes from within nothing external never external the candle is just for us to be able to see a representation of our confidence and the light is in the in the flame represent the spark that we have all that eternally that in Eternally shines within us brightly. All right, so here we go. The, sh the candles lit. May we have a good match, both teams. So let me tell you, I was just looking at the standings. Okay, and I'm kind of salty. I see Chelsea back on top of the table, and I'm just like, what happened, United? What happened? What happened, United? What happened, United? What happened? What happened? They were in such. What happened, United? Okay. United and Arsenal both drew. Arsenal drew against West Ham and United drew against Everton. And to be honest, the Everton draw is a little shaky. But, you know, United is still, you know, they still up and coming, even though, you know, they got, <laughs> even though they got players that are like. Um, but Arsenal drew against West Ham, which is like, uh, I, it's tough because West Ham lost to, uh, United, no, who did West Ham uh, just lose to? They lost 3-0 to, uh, to a team that, um, man, I, let me look real quick, because I just seen it, and I, I had it all planned out how I was going to articulate this to you, you know what I mean? Uh, and I was a little mad, because, you know, I was like, what, you know, like, come on, come on, Chelsea, no, Chelsea can't win the league again, apparently Laura James is on fire now, you know what I'm saying, well, she's on fire, um, and, um, you know, it's just, it's just tough. Let me, so let me just go, let's see. Arsenal, like I said, drew against West Ham, 0-0. Zero, zero. And then, and Arsenal dominated that match, which is crazy. 21 shots? Gosh. twenty. Yeah, I'm surprised Arsenal lost this. And like I said, City on a 16 game on a beaten streak and like i told y'all before it's like um i think city were able to have like a um i think a, like a 30 plus match streak so that's i mean i don't that's crazy uh to to see and we know some other clubs that had probably a, a even more but um you know it's just a rare thing to see a rare thing to see a team go um undefeated in that type of stretch you know um, I, it's not too common nowadays. I, I feel like it should become less common because we should know that the teams are now more evenly yoked and, you know, <laughs> Kelly hit the corner flag. Well, that was a blooper right there. That was funny. That That's going to be replayed. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, so first Arsenal drew, at, well, uh, first United drew to Everton, right? And I wanted to see United, or no, I wanted to see, uh, yeah, yeah, it was United. No, not United. It had to be Everton, because Everton are sitting in that fifth place spot. <clears throat> and Everton beat West Ham 3-0, right? So I'm like, okay, so Everton beat West Ham 3-0, and then Arsenal drew to, and then Arsenal drew with West Ham, and United drew with Everton. So it's like, uh, you know... I'm like, come on now. Like, I actually, I just didn't expect that based upon you look at the statistics. Like, I'm just like, both teams, United and Arsenal, over 60 percentage, over 25 shots, over, I mean, over 20 shots for both teams, and they still uh, couldn't score. So, I mean, it just gave Chelsea a boost, but also City a boost. So, Everton did, Everton and West Ham did City a favor. Um, because Arsenal are still one more game in hand, um, against United, I mean, against City, and so that means this weekend when City play Arsenal, it's very important to get the three points, and it looked like Arsenal were kind of going with, like, not saying their second team, but no Blackstenius, no Cat Lee, those were two surprises that I saw on the bench, to be honest, I was like, what, no Cat Lee, no Blackstenius, I, like, like, Arsenal, they... Like I said, but still a pretty decent team. So they're having Caitlin Ford sit up top. Um, the Capes there. And, and, and they're going with a different defense. 
and uh, Leo Williamson, Leo, yeah, I was playing in the midfield. And remember, I was telling y'all uh, a lot of my pre previous commentaries when Kira Walsh was still here with City. Uh, when when I saw England and play and Kira and Aliyah play together, they cut. This is a good opportunity to hear uh, the new sign. Ooh, big save from Sandy here already. Already good. I uh, was. I mean, it's it's best to, it's better to have their the, their fullback take a strike than like a Caitlin Ford or anybody. But City getting caught on the break here already. Jesus. Um. Corner kick here and it's a nighttime match like what it's it's like wait because it's like six hours here so it's like yes yeah, seven six it's, it's pretty dark out there already and it's chilly so mccabe's gonna take this one um all right and kim little's back really good to see her uh arsenal really could you i mean it's really nice for arsenal to have that type of player uh, in the midfield, and I like Arsenal's lineup in the mid. It's a little, it's different, you know. I, I, I prefer. This is a better midfield than what I have been seeing with Arsenal. You know what I'm saying? And I've talked about Arsenal's team and oh boy, not playing the right, oh him not playing the right players in the right positions. Um, and I like this. Uh, so it's really good to see. It's really good to see the changes. Um. Like I said, though, Arsenal missing Minima and Beth Me. This match would have been, a li I think, a little more tighter if if City, if City had to go up against them too as well. So fortunately, you know, you know, we have. I feel like we have the upper hand. Or oh, oh, I feel I feel like City had the upper hand in this case. Um, well, Arsenal have the home crowd, right? They have Arsenal have the home crowd, and I do think uh, them coming off of the draw. They have a lot of incentive to win this match. It's a semi-final. I, th I think they said City are champions of this Continental Cup. So, you know, they're defending. It's very difficult to defend a title you've already won. So, in a way, I, in a way, it's like, I want City to win, but it's like, ah, they just, they just won the Continental Cup last year. You know what I'm saying? So, but I still, I still want City to do well, if that makes sense. So... But anyways, he continues to start Angendahl. Angendahl in the midfield. I really enjoy she's she's growing, right? We in, in a lot of the matches she's been growing. Uh and a lot adding to her creativity. And it's really good to see. Like I said, Diana had lots of opportunity Diana. Dana. Dana had lots of opportunities uh in the last match. Uh Bunny ended up getting um oh, she's down right now, real quick. See how everything is going over here, just to make sure we li okay we live in this we live here. What's up, y'all? Okay, cool, cool. Um, funny down here. Well, I didn't see what happened, but um, let's see. Okay. Oh, I guess maybe the ball kind of like swiped her on the side. That's what I'm thinking. That's what it. That's what it. That's what it looked like. Okay. Yes. Um. <clears throat> so kind of early stoppage, real quick. Uh. Also, Laura Coombs. She signed uh another con uh, uh, a contract extension till 2025. So Alex Greenwood and Laura Coombs both wanting to stay longer. So we got the Virgo in the Aquarius energy, inking, um a little bit longer. So it's really good to see. Um. I was reading a little bit of city.com like Arsenal with the first best the first and best opportunity to go ahead and get a goal but uh the Gemini Sandy ready ready for um ready for anything ready for anything I wouldn't want Arsenal to score so early they would have been hyped but nah 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 <laughs> no thank you no thank you yeah you know I had a big like, I had a big decision. It wasn't really a big decision. And it's kind of crazy how everything kind of happened. Because I almost didn't, I almost wasn't able to watch this match live. Too. And it was either this or do something in the, in the, in the Matrix, right? And so 
I almost didn't choose this. And I I was like, man, like I don't know why I was having such a difficult time making this decision because I'm like, what am I thinking? Like I know that in general, I don't, you know, the matrix is second hand, and this is more first hand because this is something that I see myself doing, of course, a lot more with y'all. Uh, so it's crazy how it almost worked out. I almost didn't come live for y'all, and I would have been, I was devastated thinking, like, damn, I'm not gonna be able to watch City and Arsenal. I'm not gonna be able to watch them on the weekend because I won't be available. Um, but uh, I was like, damn, I almost just wasn't there. And, and I'm, I'm very glad that I chose myself. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna blow out that chakra. The chakra. We're not blowing, we're, the, we're blowing the candle. We're not blowing out your chakras. You know, our chakras are lit. You know what I'm saying? Our chakras are lit. You know what I mean? We got us, we, we lit every day. You know, that's like every day we lit. Hey. Yes, we lit every day. Every day we lit. Every day we lit. Okay. <clears throat> uh,. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I feel like I just take it from me. I mean, choose. Now we're, uh, I feel like, not only are we living in a time where you must choose yourself, the system will make it look like you have ultimatums, but at the end of the day, you don't because you're the creator. But it is a lot of frequencies that will be bombarding you with undermining energy to doubt yourself. So always remember that. The decisions that you make for yourself will always be the best decisions um, because they will benefit you. And especially if they make your heart and soul sing. I mean, football, ever since I started commentating football, I mean, I've really been able to just change my life. And I'm very grateful for everyone that's been able to follow me along the journey. Here's him over the top. Ooh, ooh. Okay, yeah, okay. She, yeah. Decent, you know what I'm saying? No, not too bad. Him had a lot of opportunities too in the, in the prior game. Um, I believe, um, who do they play? Sheffield United? Sheffield United and, uh, I, you know, who, you know, I don't remember. There's just so many matches. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, she did have a lot of chances. Um, it was Chloe Kelly and I think Money Shaw that ended up getting the goals against Sheffield. Or, I think, let me see, let me see. Oh, no, that was, uh, that was, that was the Leicester City match. My bad. Sheffield United lost 7-0 to City. Woo, yeah. So that was the match before Leicester City came back. Oh, well, we went to Leicester. They went to Leicester City, right? So uh, Bunny and Chloe got goals last game. So we'll see how they do uh, today. Uh, but yeah, him. Maybe she's, she's up for a goal. I think she was player of the match for the last game, though, against Leicester. So, oh, yeah, she had a lot of gr great dribbles inside the box. Um, and yeah, she did have some good chances. Uh, and I feel like, uh, they ha Arsenal have a new signing, uh, 21 P Pilova. So I'm not familiar with her, um, but they did sign her. It's very interesting. Um, you know, I guess, I'm not saying she's, she's having to play that role Beth Mead would usually be in. And, um, I mean, and I've, and I don't know how Caitlin Ford's been doing, but, you know, she's, I think... It's very interesting to see her as a forward, right? Usually, that doesn't make sense, Caitlin Ford. Uh, uh, but usually, uh, you know, she plays on the, the on the wing, right? And I hope she's been well because I want Australia to do really well in the World Cup. Um, you know, because I also have some uh, we also have some Aussies on Eng on England. <laughs> we also have some Aussies on City. So I, I I hope I hope she's in good good form. Just not to, not today against City. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But, uh, you know, hopefully Kennedy can um, depict her movements and uh, keep her from scoring some goals, teammates, you know. And I just expect, uh, you know, I just expect City, I expect City to, to, to beat Arsenal. I expect City to, be, to beat Arsenal. Arsenal, you know, I feel they're, they're going to match City, uh, what do you call it, um, Hold on, this thing's getting a little flunked out. I think we're okay. I feel like things are getting a little flunked out right now. Hold on. Hello, the pressure 
gotta turn off that Wi-Fi. I mean, not turn off the Wi-Fi, turn off some things that are on the Wi-Fi. <clears throat> All right, I think we okay. I think we back. We back. Um, yeah, I still think City should be able to beat Arsenal. No, but Arsenal should be able to. I feel test City. Um, I think it should still be even, but uh, I do believe City should should have the momentum. You know, they have the momentum. Arsenal just had a draw. City are off well, on a win, and they know how they know how important this match is, of course. And then it's the semifinals. It's like after this match is the finals, I'm, I believe, and this is like two legs um, here. But I'm not. I'm, I don't remember. I, I'm thinking it's just one leg. Uh, but like I tell y'all before, if you're new to the channel, I don't listen to the commentary, so it's just me. Like y'all can hear the audio, but I can't hear the audio because you know it's it's. I want my experience what observing the match to be organic to me and, and based upon what I have seen watching the ladies play instead of, um, you know, I know the commentators. I'm not just sure if the commentators have scripts, you know what I mean? Like, because you, you think they're watching the matches independently, you know what I mean? Or do they got scripts to say? I don't know. I ain't got no scripts, you know what I mean? I just got, I just got videos and videos on just past gameplay that's all i got and then i just got my encyclopedia my mind and recalling everything so I, we don't know because i'm not in the booth with the commentators you know what i'm saying <clears throat> but free kick here for arsenal this is a good opportunity 16 minutes here city had to defend the net and arsenal like i said had the best chance magnum but ooh side netting what is this goal kick referee we're looking for the referee she she don't she didn't she had a late reaction late reaction she ends up giving a goal kick i believe let's go city nope um gotta find uh gotta help that midfield you gotta get in that midfield arsenal i believe they probably are more Arsenal's midfield is probably more comfortable playing with each other than our midfield. I, th I feel just to get because Angel Doll, this is probably about her third or fourth match playing in the midfield now with Hasegawa and and and, and Dana. So it's still, you know, and, and growing pains. It's still growing. And we haven't really had that big of comp. Of course, the, the first, we haven't really had that big of a fight. The, um, the only team that really tested us since we came back, since they came back from the break, was Aston Villa. Um, with their really stellar midfield, you know, they had a they have a really good midfield. Aston Villa now with their with the the new signings, you know, Jordan Ops left Arsenal um, to go there, and um, I think that's it. Like I said, we already did that commentary. She's a great addition to that team, and I really do like. What our, I mean, what Aston Villa are creating, um, and remember, it takes the players to make these decisions to join different teams, and you know, a player like Jordan Ops, um, she decided to take her talent somewhere else. I know she's been at Arsenal for a really long, long time. So, I mean, I know it's probably a tough decision to end up leaving somewhere she called home, but it does take players like her to quality players like her to decide to, okay. Let's see, I'm going to stay in England, but just go to another team and help that team. And she went to a team that had, you know, uh, you know, of course, that girl, Rachel Daly. Uh, shout out to the Dash, former Dash, you know what I mean? Um, and, and some other good signings. Uh, Aston, Aston Villa, yeah, Aston Villa. So, really good to see. And, of course, we know uh, when we do talk about, when we do tune into Chelsea with, with Tottenham getting Beth England. It takes players like these to, all right, we're going to a different team. You know, she could have, you know, I don't know what team would have paid that much for her. But, like, hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It is what it is. So, Tottenham. I want to see how, I got to see how Tottenham playing as well. But I'm really liking that the ladies are deciding to, you know, switch it up a little bit. And um, end up leaving a team they were with for a while. Here's a good pass. Hasaga. Oof. That was a good tackle. Wubin Moy on, on Angel Doll. Was it clean? It was, the referee said it was uh, clean. It looked clean to me, too. It was just 
Mm, what do you call it? A, a, a crunching tackle? <laughs> ah! I got me some tea here. Um, but I hope y'all been well. Um, we watched a couple matches yesterday, so don't forget to check those out if you do PSG and We watched the yeah, we watched the French League and we watched the Mexican League and now we're in the English League uh, you know if, <clears throat> if you're into those if you're into some other leagues or some other teams that you'd like to see me commentate um, Let me know in the chat, you know some teams that you support, like Nita, I think that would be a really good team for you to cover. <clears throat> good defense here, 1v1. Mm. Okay, here we go. This is, this is, okay, him, I feel like him had to take that a little bit more, but here, she's going to get it to Kelly. That hip was going to actually just take off with the ball. <laughs> But we're seeing a lot more of him just uh, pick up the ball and start dribbling because of her pace. A lot of players, you know, she can just pull players. And it's going to be very difficult for uh, someone to stop her. So, you know, that's cheese. Uh, what do you think about it? Uh, so I'm seeing a lot more of that from him. For I was like, no no foul here? I guess we they are playing at... At Arsenal, so they probably not getting that love already. <laughs> See, <laughs> not getting that, you know, not getting that home field advantage. You know, they're playing at Arsenal here. <clears throat> yeah, so. Forgot what else I was gonna say. Oh, I didn't. Ooh. And it's, yeah, today, uh, and where I'm located, it, it had, it's had it been raining. It was raining yesterday. But it's not raining no more, but the sun hasn't come out again today. Not yet. So hopefully it does, but if it doesn't, you know, that's that's okay. But I'd rather when, I, it's, it's a good day when the sun comes out. But it's been damp and wet out here where I'm located. I'm not too sure how the weather's been. In your geographical location. This match is live on FA Player. If you're, I'm in America, unfortunately. But anyways, uh, well, yeah, I'm in America. Uh, so this match was here on FA Player, and uh, yeah, shout out to FA Player for being able to bring us this match. No, Bunny here, her first kind of touches. To Alexandri here, Alingendal, and looking at the bench, uh, I thought he was gonna start Horton. To be honest, I thought it was gonna be mm, another good uh, <laughs> Kelly. Kelly. Hopefully, Kelly can get a goal. But I thought he was gonna play. You know, I thought maybe he'd start bringing Steph back. Her, Steph and Alex, but you know he's resting her. He she may he may play her next weekend. I mean this weekend. Um. <clears throat> uh, who shot was that? Asagawa. Full house, full house for Arsenal, too. She's always good to see. Now balls over everyone, him. Too much power. He there. Oh man, that's sign. will be relatively happy with how his side has started, Gareth Taylor. A couple of shaky moments in play in the back. Oh, that I didn't even change the title to the stream. Oh goodness. My bad. Looking for sure. Difficult one for her to bring under her spell. You know what? There we go. My 
My bad. All right, what happened? I didn't. I forgot. I didn't even change the title. <laughs> Let me change it. I'm probably like this is not PSG. Ooh. The Continental Cup. Okay, I updated it. I updated the um the actual right one. Ooh, bunny shot, but oh, over there, over there. Brilliant play from Lauren Hemp. Sure would have hoped to avert the goalkeeper, albeit maybe not expected. Sensational stuff from Lauren Hemp. Just behind her, Hemp using her, you know, her speed to try to change direction, trying to change directions quickly. Oh, dang. Funny, I thought, no, it was close. I wonder what happened in the back. We didn't get to see it because the camera just cut to the opportunity. Camera, stay on the football field. It, it's difficult because they are showing they were showing us um, the replay. And so we didn't get to see what happened in the, um, when the ball got live again. When the, when the ball became live again. All right, Hemp. Hemp is going to have to take advantage of, like I said, these, um, these slower... I... These slower defenders, I feel. She has to, right? That's why it's very interesting as well. Not to see Rasso as much when it comes to City. City's attack. And I know Kelly. But also, you could also play Rasso in the midfield. If I feel if they wanted to. She, I feel like she's not just a wide player, you know? Like, she... I feel like we could see her in the midfield. She could in, she could bring that to her game, especially if that's how they're see, if they're, especially if that's how you see they're doing him. She's literally has free free range free free range free roam sometimes. Like, Kelly here on ah she should just yeah yeah Kelly she's got to hold the ball she's the <clears throat> a lot Kelly uh, she she should have crossed the ball in. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, took a dribble. You're the creator when it comes to that aspect. Um, but yeah, she, you're the creator in that moment. Yeah, was a good pass for Engine Dolls. Literally, right to a girl. So you see Williamson has dropped back now defensively she's not Kennedy this clears that she's not playing uh in the midfield what what where I thought she was she, that's what it looks like Looking for 
for Lobra, and he found Hasegawa. Now Weimreuter, can she keep this in? Ford in the middle waiting for a cross. Good strength from Pilova to hold off Hasegawa. Here's Little. Marlon almost managed to work it back to her. <laughs> City struggling to get this away. Weimreuter again. Good, def good, uh, <laughs> good defense right there. Okay, him. <laughs> like I said, that, I mean, quick and easy. She, she made that look easy. Getting a good ball to Kelly, too. She's going to take a strike. But damn, Kelly, come on, man. What was that? She shanked that. Too much power. That was such a great opportunity for City. Him did all the hard work. He made a good pass. All Kelly had to do was really finish it. See how much, well, Catley, Catley, McCabe was, was tracking back too. But that's when you use her momentum against her. Yeah, a lot of Arsenal's passing is sloppy. Both teams have some sloppy passes. So they're both going to have some chances. Not all of them have been crisp for both teams. That's what happens. I mean, not everyone will have be sharp like some of the other clubs we see, or you rarely see them make any errored passes because it's just not in their their team structure. Bunny here holds up the ball nicely. Gets it. Ball's moving really fast. Okay, oh, Kennedy. Oh, Kennedy. Oh, Lord, Kennedy. And then that lady, that lady she's got to make quicker decisions. Ay, ay, ay. It looked like she was trying to do the same thing. But old girl's going to get tired tracking. Because she's, uh, she's playing high up the line too. So she may get tired eventually. Him may wear her out. So see if we'll, we see if that will be exploited through as the match continues on. Because, you know, Hemp's... Has energy. Ford just wanted that a bit more than Hasegawa. And I... Mm, they played Leicester. I think she did... I think a lot of the ladies did come off the bench like around like the 80th minute. So... I think that's what we did see in the Leicester match. Against the Leicester City match. Got a little bit extra rest. But it's crazy because City played... Uh... Literally, like, they played Saturday, and then they play Wednesday, and then they play next Sunday or Saturday. So a lot of matches in a quick succession, you know, within 10 days, at least. It looks like maybe one, 10 days, three matches. And then we're going to have the um, international break. So the England's going to be in the Ar Arnold Cup. So I wonder who's, I forgot who, I want to see who's participating in that. Hopefully we have lots of streams of the international matches during the break. So we get just, just to see how the teams are doing internationally because it is World Cup season. Uh, well, 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 it is World Cup year. And um, we just want to see how the teams are doing. So hopefully they get, they give us some good matches. Cat. <laughs> I don't know. Did Kelly? I don't, I don't think. I think Kelly probably. I don't think she got a yellow. Thank goodness. She got a talking to. McCabe's the last one to be putting her hands out <laughs> like that. Like she don't be foul. Like she don't be foul. Good. 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 Ancient doll. That was a good pass. Oh man. I thought she was gonna give it right back to her. Nah, I, she was going for somebody else. But I thought she was gonna. I think that was Kirsten that was making a good run, but um. 
Oh, Kelly did get a yellow. Ah! Goodness, she did get a yellow, unfortunately. I'm telling you, Arsenal got that home advantage. They get a yellow. Was that a yellow? Was that a yellow? She was sloppy in possession. That's a go. I wouldn't let her be. Ten minutes in the first half to go. I know it's a chance early on. You're not really seeing one team like dictate just yet in the first 35. I think both teams had had enough ball, enough time on the ball. Um. Ooh. Oh, whoa, whoa. Is that not a yellow? Is is that not a yellow? Is is that not a, is that not a yellow? What? What is this? Where? What is this? Is that not a, that looks that looks very similar to. What did Kelly do that was different from what Magnum did, huh? Huh? Oh, it's, I know. It's because that's because we're playing at Arsenal. It's because they're playing at Arsenal. <laughs> oh. I'm very interested to see where people. I don't know how where, where people are watching this match. I don't think it's on YouTube. Well, this is the first of the two semi finals. Up next, tomorrow, quarter past seven kickoff as well. Chelsea. I mean, is today the ninth? Chelsea beat the finals last season. Oh, no, today's the eighth. Tomorrow's the ninth. Chelsea and West Ham. Ugh, Chelsea. No closer to finding out who is going to. Selhurst Park at the start of next month out of Arsenal and Manchester City. Uh, okay. So he got hit with the ball and he reacted and responded in that aspect. The Piscean. You know what I'm saying? The Piscean. You know he they he's in his own world. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. Good. Cat Lee got the better half of Greenwood there. I say Cat Lee, Caitlin Ford. Jesus. Very open, very open match. And I think both teams are doing well tracking back to play defense. So it is, I think, so so far, because it, it, it looks like both teams can make some mistakes just based upon how, like, quick they're playing and, like, there's a lot of interceptions in the midfield, um, you know. And a lot of these players are... are are well well are are familiar with each other. Ah, Kelly, come on, you you gotta give her a better pass. Just poor passing right now that I'm seeing too. It's kind of frustrating. <laughs> Especially when they get into some good chances. This is a good uh, Kim Little. Oh my goodness. That was for anybody. Look, again, again, just bad touch. I mean, bad pass. I'm not really liking it right now for City. I'm not liking it. They're 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 being sloppy with the ball, with the possession. This is a good opportunity for Arsenal. 
Anytime you have Kim Little in the box with the ball, it's very scary because her quality and distribution and goal scoring is superb based upon what we've seen from her. You know what I'm saying? Funny here. Heavy touches. She's got the strength. Hold off. Again. Killing me with these passes. Killing me. Back to goal. Pressure from Angle Dahl, but you'd never have known it. She was the coolest person in the stadium. Jeez. How? Kennedy fell. Fucking A. Bring up to offer some support. Cool as well. Four going for goal herself. Deflected Kalova. Couldn't get to the loose ball ahead of the keeper. <laughs> All I saw was Kennedy. I was getting up. I saw the screw with tracking back. What was it? What happened? She must have slipped. Mm, I don't think the referee's seen that. City need to calm down. They're rushing things. And now both teams kind of top. Oof. Luckily that, <laughs> luckily that went their legs. But yeah, I think both teams are kind of rushing things, um, and, and they need to calm. Their, well, these last five minutes, I mean, you can they might slow the tempo down just a little bit because they don't want to concede late. But um, yeah, City are rushing things. They need to be a little bit more patient because they're just giving the ball away sloppy because they're just rushing. Not being patient, you know, a little more patience, but that's sometimes what you get when you get that fire energy. So it's a lot of chaotic energy. It's just the fire is just everywhere. So sometimes you need some structure, some earth, you know, some, some earth, so just, just, you know, because I say if you're water, if you put more water out there, it's gonna burn out that fire, right? But in air, it's gonna just kind of make it more wild. But if you put a little more, if you put earth in it, earth more earth, and it's gonna help the fire burn but more st structuredly if that makes sense more practical you might you'll see how the fire could go from each room instead of just everywhere you know what i'm saying Mm, Kelly needs to be careful. She already got a yellow. <laughs> Off a of cheaply. It was a cheap yellow, in my opinion. here okay Kelly inside the box you see what type of decision she makes it needs to be a good cross I mean it lands to almost lands oh, to Diana not Diana Dana Manum. 
One minute and change. Ooh. This will probably be the last opportunity for somebody to score in the first half. by Greenwood might bounce for sure Oof. Man, that was close boot here's him she's gonna take a shot hmm, always sailing Pat plenty of power but couldn't keep it down and a couple of decent opportunities in the first half hemp this was pretty much uh, Arsenal's own making really Williamson dithering got caught out and drove it hard but always rising That is half time. No goals between Arsenal in, and in, I would say this was a chaotic first half in my opinion. I feel both I feel both teams were just everywhere. They need to get settled. I feel like this match is just the first half was just <laughs> We had good some good shots. I think Arsenal had the, some of the best looking chances. But number 26, uh Run Rutler. Ford had a little peek at it with the with the cross from from Kelly from, with the cross from uh, Kim Little, but you know I guess these are damn already with the highlights, fam. Look at them. So this was the early chance here in the fourth minute, as you see. This was the best one of the best chances because in a way it was kind of no yeah this was one of the best chances. This one was good, but this was always kind of like it didn't have enough um, height to get over that goalkeeper. They always you always kind of seen it when she when it came off her foot, the way it was angling. Kelly strike. Okay, it was gonna be a little difficult from distance. You wouldn't really expect the goalkeeper to miss mishandle that one, and if you did, him could have. Put it back in the back of the net, but she has secure hands. A lot of highlights for City so far. Hemp. See, well, I see Angel Doll. Oh, this was pretty good. I don't remember seeing this one. Must have been talking. <laughs> uh, yeah, Angel Doll here on the upper inner, upper upper inner of the penalty box. More City highlights here. Okay, Hemp. Funny shot. So a little, uh, this uh, decent spell here from the 11th minute to like the 25th minute. City with these chances. Yeah, this was. I think this was one of City's best chances. Right here. I feel like Kelly should have. I mean, yeah, I feel like Kelly should have done better, but McCabe was was tracking back, so it, it did make it a little more difficult. But um, the ball was nowhere. I mean, the shot was nowhere on target. And this was a good chance. Here, this is the one uh, where Ford got the, the the best of Alice Greenwood right there. Thankfully, it didn't hit Alex's hands, the ball, because it was up. Her hands were up. Thankfully. Thankfully. All right. So it's 0-0 zero, zero in the first half. It's halftime, y'all. Um, the ladies are in the locker room. So I feel like we're going to look at the statistics just to see what they're saying. And, um, I mean, is anyone's match in this second half? Hopefully, both teams kind of come. Oh, what the? Let me remove that. Hopefully both teams kind of calm down. Um, but we'll see. 
Ooh. Let me see the hot time. Statistics real quick. Dang, Arsenal have a tough lineup. They have, they have to play C twice, and then they have to play Chelsea coming back from the break. Um, cup tie. Um, tough, 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 tough. A couple of stretches, a tough couple of for Arsenal. Um, so, come on. Let me get these standings. Or st Quick, yeah. So it says seven shots for City, four shots for Arsenal. The possession 58 Arsenal, though, 42 City. Interesting, interesting corners equal. That's pretty much it, really. Both teams, you know, with some good shots. City seven, Arsenal four. Um, not, I mean, like I said, not too bad, not too bad, not too shabby. I can't, I really can't, um, uh, did I update the stream? Let me see what it is. Let me just tweet this real quick. Oh, there we go. That's what I want. Ooh, paste. We'll paste that, and we'll pin that. Wait, wait. There we go. Hmm. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Um. <clears throat> okay. Okay, we got that. We got that all right. Oh, what they showed us here? Some uh, some replays. Sam Kerr versus Tottenham. Quick restart. Tottenham were crying. You can't complain to the referee. Unlucky. Hemp. Let's go. Good finish from her. Okay, yeah, we were good on that. If y'all want to watch all that stuff, you go have to go over the FA player and tune into all that stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, yeah, anyways, I, like I said, in the second half, I expect better. I expect better for City, um, a little bit more structured. Uh, we may see some early subs based upon what I've seen. I can see... Laura Coombs coming on. I can see uh, maybe Rasso coming in and Fowler. Um, and overall, in general, I feel that... I feel like City's midfield is struggling because we really haven't seen Diana, Diana on the ball as much. Uh, they haven't been able to combine as well. So I feel like they're struggling in that aspect. As you can see, based upon possession, Arsenal have a little bit more. So hopefully... I, I do think maybe Laura Coombs could come on and help City in the midfield and just have a little bit more chemistry with Hasegawa and that Dana. And like I said, like, you know, for Dana, it's, it's still, it's been a struggle. It's, I feel like for me, it's been a struggle just to see her 
she hasn't I've, like she hasn't got it yet just yet for me i don't think she's playing her i don't feel like she's playing her best football um and it's kind of i'm like ah come on i don't know if she's playing in the right position if this is the right system for her at the moment i know this is her first season with city but out of like i said all the all the players she's been she's had the most i said Thinking about it, her and Alexandria have had, had the most minutes out of our new players. I think Kirsten's been subbed. You know, she's had a lot of minutes. But between the her, the 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 trio that we got with um with Layla and, and Alexandria and Dana, those two been playing a lot. And I do think uh, Dana's a striker. I don't think she's like a midfield player. But with Atletico Madrid, she was a midfield player. She played that role really well. But I just don't see that for her at City. I think she's a striker. And you bring in Mary Fowler or you bring in our Laura Coombs. That stirs our midfield players because she's just, it's just not there just yet. It's not, I just, and I feel like we'll be it will she but then her work rate is very it's really good to see. I, I enjoy she you know she does track back on defense and stuff. Like her work rate is amazing, but offensively I feel like we're not getting what we deserve from her because it's just not clicking just yet. And we know our whole city midfield is different. Uh so and it's it's still tough, even though City have been in this sixteen unbeaten streak, they're still they're, to me, they're still, we haven't, I'm not saying we haven't faced tough competition, but I feel like there's still holes. There's still holes, and, you know, me, based upon seeing City play a lot, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced just yet. I I haven't seen, it's like I said, I haven't seen the City before the break come back yet, and it's kind of frustrating, you know? So, I, I it's, it, yeah, that's, I haven't seen the City team that we saw before the break. That something changed. Something happened. Okay, it's not the same city team. Something's changed about them, um, and I'm I'm not too sure what it is just yet. And I, I, it's gonna come to me. Um, but yeah, something changed. Something changed over the break, and the ladies are you know they're it they're playing differently, even though they're still winning. You know, so it's very difficult to like. Like just to see, you're like, ah, come on, come on. But uh, let me pour me my, my tea, and uh, hopefully we can get this second half kicked off here shortly. They got about like, you know, a couple, a couple more minutes. I think it'll be around. Right. It's better not go down no draw and then penalties, bro. I'm gonna be salty. <laughs> I'm gonna be salty. Breaks. Oh shit. Go, there she goes. Oh shit. Alright. Don't mind me. Ugh. Gonna myself. <laughs> gonna, you know, gonna chow down on some pineapples. Pineapples. You know that song Pineapple? I think it's by like I think Gucci Mane and all them or something like that. It's kind of a very uh mm, how do you say it? Very explicit song. <laughs> it's not for. It's not for. Well, then again, like, I, I, we're like, oh my goodness. See, I'm a part of the generation where, like, it. I'm a part of the generation right in between everything went to hell. You know what I mean? Like, we, we already know everything has been to hell, but like, everything is just full blooded. Like, everyone's pretty much just doing it. Everyone out here running with their head cut off, right? But I'm in the generation where we still had some discipline. Like, well, I'm a I'm a '90s baby, but like, 
I'm nine. I'm like a 96, so I'm like right after. But I'm an old ass soul, you know. I have an Aquarius moon, but so I'm an old motherfucker in a young body. You know what I'm saying? Are they still talking about? I don't even know who she is. I don't know. I think that's Bristol City, actually. That's what they look like. But yeah, so <clears throat> some pineapples. Mmm, that's Liverpool. Liverpool getting some clout. But Liverpool, they shocked Chelsea. And then I don't even know where they are on the table. I don't think they've been doing that well. But they did sign some players, you know. But it's crazy. Liverpool were, oh, yeah. That's, we were talking about Liverpool early in the season. Liverpool was a team that a lot of the England players, young, well, before England, a lot of the players that we saw before they came more, more famous, more popular, Liverpool was a really good team. And so I wonder, like I said, how did they fall off? What happened? Did, and that's the thing when I, when I see with certain clubs, like what did, they, what did they do wrong? What shift did they miss to where they weren't attracting the same talent that they were? And so that's another thing. And what has shifted in the league where you know the teams that used to be the best now chelsea's been dominating for these last like years right oh let's go chelsea's been dominating for these last couple years um but what changed for liverpool wonder some of these teams they were so successful they missed a shift, though. Something happened where they missed a shift and they didn't keep up with the times. And my thing is also... It's crazy how... When you have... Like City, right? City are a wealthy team. And... You know, the second half kicked off. Let's go. City in the blue. Arsenal in the red. Maybe have some goals, but in City's favor. So Chloe Kelly does have a yellow card, so she's going to have to be careful. And that's the only caution we've had in the match. Um, They may play to extra time. I'm not sure. Uh... Okay, just looking. They may play the extra time. I hope not. I hope it's settled in 90, but <laughs> here's that. Dana here, finally getting some touches on the ball. We haven't really got to see her do anything, like I said. Ooh, Hemp was, um, not Hemp. Who was that, Kelly? Okay, the overlap. Give mm, the shots right at the goalkeeper, though. I should turn off that. Mm. Oh, so where did I put my mobile? My telly? My mobile device? Ooh. Ooh. Um. Forward here. Versus her teammate Kennedy or Australian partner teammate. <clears throat> I wonder how the uh, crowd is doing. Uh, I think y'all could probably hear. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty loud, right? I think. Should I turn it up a little bit more for you? I can hear a little bit better. I'm not too sure. Oh, snap. I'm not even going to see what happened. Caitlin Ford, but she had a shot. And it's very interesting, too, because Arsenal have some banks. Well, Arsenal have, like, some really good players on the bench. Offensive threats on the bench, so we'll see when they come in, because, I mean, you got two big Swedish players on the bench with Blackstenius and Hertig. I mean, so... That's really scary. City don't have that. We don't have strikers like that. 
you know, and that's why I say City need to sign a striker. Diana's the striker that they Diana's the striker that they signed, but they're playing her in the midfield. And then, um, like I said, we did we need a bunny needs to be able to rest too, you know. So who's gonna play in Bunny's position when she's resting? We need to sign a striker. City needs to sign a striker, and that's why I've been asking for a long time. And we need a new manager. We've already been we've already been discussed that. But yeah, we need new energy. We need new. We need a new. We have the new team now. Now we need a new energy because, it. it I don't think they're gonna get rid of him <laughs> this year either. Um, and we're gonna see how how this affects City. But I don't think they might get rid of him after the World Cup. But I don't see them getting rid of him uh, this season again. I mean, and like I said, he has to, he has to do more than what he did last year. That's facts. Champions League needs to be reached, and one title has to be won. And if he doesn't do that, I mean, do you keep him? Uh, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. City got almost half a million for Miss Kira Walsh. I mean, I don't know how much uh, City are paying Pep Guardiola, but I bet you we can find a manager where we don't. I mean, we're not gonna probably gonna have to pay them. Well, this depends on what type of manager it is. I've already voted for Abby Lee from Leon. If we can get her as a manager, that would be I'd be excited to see her in the blue. Um, but we'll see. I would like her. I'm not too sure who else. Who would like to be the next Manchester City woman manager? You know, um, who would we trust? to take the rings and here's another thing if you're the city manager in a way you kind of want Taylor to have this year right this year World Cup year and one more year because then if you know depending on what he does the next year if he does get sacked or he does walk away or they do decide to, whatever whatever they decide to do because eventually he will leave right I don't think he'll be here that long I say they has I say he has like two more years to be honest um but and then they, it won't be like a major tournament year so like everyone should be pretty unless injuries happen everyone should be after the world cup season i think it may be like two more years to the olympics or maybe like a year they may have like a year and then, then it might be the olympics but don't quote me on that um but still there'll be a break right there'll be a break and then i think maybe that's when they'll make the changes um, but we're just, of course, we're going to follow City to see how, you know, th how this team ends up evolving because it's all about evolution over here and growth and, um, expansion and create, you know, and all that good stuff that sounds good when we say it off our tongues, you know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. Good stuff. I know Falcom. Okay, I guess it was a Falcom. We well, you know we got that. I'm really happy we got some Gemini energy though on the team. It's always nice to see my energy out here. But I already got. I got. I got all my energy out here. All my sun, moon, and ascended. <laughs> you know. So I'm heavily involved in the energies that City have out here. Same with Arsenal. I don't think. I know they got some um, some other energies out here. Moy. Moy Moy here, trying to get past three. Damn, did she tap? Oh. No yellow car, fam. I gotta see this replay though. Dana's down. We're looking for a re we're looking for a yellow. Some trouble by the looks of things. Wilbur Moy just overstretched there. Caught the Venezuelan on the shin. Mm. You see Steph up. There you go, Captain Steph. So yeah, I want to say your hat. I mean, she gave Kelly a harsh yellow. We need to see yellow referee for that arsenal. For Le Arsenal, we need to see Le Yellow. 
Pineapple. I mean, she did give her, she did give Kelly a harsh yellow. Did she not? Yes, she did. Arsenal, y'all deserve one. Don't cap, don't cap, Arsenal. Y'all deserve a yellow. You know what I'm saying? All right, but anyways. From the halfway line for country earlier this season, Castellanos actually made her debut for Venezuela when she was only 14 years old. 53 minutes free kick for the citizens. And I remember when I was watching City, when I first, of course, like, I first was introduced to City in the era of Vinny Company and Sergio Aguero and Dalti and Bellatelli and, you know, all the OGs for the gentleman's map, for the gentleman's game, right? Before it became, I feel like, you know, I haven't watched the men's game in such a long time, it feels, it seems. Uh, but yeah, when I was watching City like 10 years ago, I think it was like 29, 2009, 20, 2010, we're 2023 based upon the Gregorian calendar, which is probably not true. And the only reason we say that, we don't really think it's 2023 because in in a way you know the Mayan calendar predict, predicted they say predicted the end of the world in 2012 and like literally we're in the end of the world like right now so it's like this is like we're pot we're it, I guess it does matter because the numbers and the numerology behind the numbers have impact on us as a collective so I oh okay okay what's going on here to make her mind up Yo, where the yellow card for the back talk for the sass? No yellow for the sass. <laughs> We're starting to see a lot more vocal expressions from both teams. Hopefully, it doesn't become a you know more. We don't want the chippy. We want we want the goals. You know what I'm saying? We want the the football. But sometimes it does kind of get a little grimy because, you know, the teams are, you know, having a difficult time, um, you know. Having a difficult, they're having a difficult time getting settled with each other. No, no team is finding that good of a flow, you know. They're both, in a way, like I said, it's chaotic. Jeez, she fell almost. I can see Bunny getting a goal. I can see. I can see one of the. Last time this time taking the risk playing out from the back, but Bunny's just about found Wooden Moy. Williamson. Capers ready for a switch there. It's played into midfield to Pelova instead. To get the ball back off her. Now the box as well. We got some subs. I was like, she's taking her time. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we had some subs for a minute. Hello, okay, nicely done. Here's Little. Kim Little wide open on the on the top of the box. It's kind of dangerous. Shaw trying to draw that foul here, but doesn't get it. Mm. But Arsenal had more possession. City struggling. I think our midfield is struggling.
activity over on the far side with the fourth official. I can't believe it. I think I'm asking for Laura Coombs to come on. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm asking for her to come on. <laughs> I think we need a Laura Coombs goal. Oh, so close. Hip. Her cross shot. Was it deflected? She was the star player of the first half, Lauren Hemp. Hasn't really been involved too much since the restart. But this is another mm. symbol of her quality, easily away from Weinreuter. The goalkeeper must have got a touch Yeah, it was like there. a cross shot. It's the second corner of the evening for City. Corner City. Short one, two. Kelly gets it in. Nice. Bunny's flicking header. Kind of goes still back. Kennedy's in the box, but. Ooh, good strike. But side netting. Good effort for Ellen from Alexandria. So, yeah, I think also I'm trying to figure out how. You know, we haven't seen Demi Stokes. I don't know where Demi Stokes is at. But, um. Bad attempt by any means by Alexandria, but still we wait for the first goal of the evening. Yeah, I haven't seen Demi Stokes in a while. And there are some players we haven't seen, like Ruby Mays, Losada. You know, where are they at? Yeah, you know I mean? like it's very difficult. I wonder I mean I know I know Ruby Mays was hurt. I guess Losada was hurt, but I thought they came back. And Ruby Mays is a very interesting player. She's only like 18, you know. And um She's looking different this year, and he had been playing her in the midfield a little bit. We know she played when she first came from Arsenal. She was playing in center back position, and uh, you know she got her her uh, Kennedy got her back. But he's been at he's added Kennedy to the lineup like, more consistently. But he hasn't found Ruby Mace, you know, position, and I'm I'm just. I think she's I think she could she could be a really good midfielder. Uh, for City. We haven't been able to get to that. She has just about. Williamson, who just knocked her over. Well, that will be a free kick at the very Is that least. a yellow? Let's see the replay. Him kind of went down a little awkwardly. A little. Let's see, let's see. Just barged over here by her England teammate. Oh, geez. She kind of got that, that, that forearm from Leah. I think... I think that was accidental contact. I don't think it was on. It was. I didn't see any, mal ma any malicious intent, but it did like literally connect sweetly to her face. It connected sweetly to her face. Everyone's talking. Was that a yellow? I don't think it was on purpose. It just happened to be that way. Astonishing if she gets away with that. It was like when Hemp turned around, she ran into Leo's form. You're like, oh, oops, my bad. Like I said, I don't think it was on purpose based upon what I saw. What do they call it? What do they call that? She Accidental contact? The referee, she's had a tough match today. I feel like okay. some of the teams have gotten away with... Kick, Arsenal's gotten away a little, a little bit. D'Angelo with the save here. Her last name sounds familiar. Actually, she made a play that ended herself, but maybe not. But it does sound familiar. Before they defend this corner, one would assume that they are going to make a couple of changes at the next break. Oh, uh, I told you! I told you! I told you! Look, they're about to bring on the Swedish duo. Hertek and, and, and Blackstinius. Holy Kelly, what was that, fam? You know how close you were? Now it's City turning up the pressure. But yeah, Arsenal bringing on the big guns. Because they, they got him on the bench. It's scary. You don't, City don't have that. Oh yeah, 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 and I, I, I like Black Senius. and her takes played for. And she's a unique player too, you know. I, she's, 
She's a wide player, but she can play. She's a striker, but she plays really good out wide too. She's kind of like a Caitlyn Ford type player too. Technical, physical, and she can you know score. She I've watched. When Juventus played Lyon a lot during the Champions League, she was able to score, I think, twice before. But yeah, Arsenal got the Swedish swag. The Swedish swag coming in. You know what I mean? The blondies. <laughs> Look at Catley. Even Catley is a blondie now. What the fuck? Everyone blondie? Everyone's a blondie in England nowadays, huh? I don't know if that's a new wave, but I guess. <laughs> of course not everyone's a blondie. But, this is really, three really good powerful substitutions for Arsenal, honestly. Very powerful. High profile players, players that have scored goals in their own right in two different leagues, and then you have Cat Lee, the Aquarian. You know, she's the GOAT too. I've ever since I've watched football, Cat Lee's been around, so you know. She's been with Australia. Yeah, ever since I've been watching football, Cat Lee's been there. Um qual qual quality player too as a, uh, uh, I think she plays left back, right? Making the first move in terms of changing things. An Australian player. He's short. Gonna have a go, but he's Ooh. short. Oh my goodness me, that money by much. She really caught that. Well, she's hardly had a sight of goal, and she has that. We'll see what the changes do. Hopefully we don't get punished, but that would have been a terrific goal. Woo! Arsenal bringing out the big guns. Are still bringing out their gunners, <laughs> bringing out their guns. Oh, don't! Oh, okay. I was like, Kennedy has to time that challenge nice, but well, she did. Angel, no. She can't find Shaw. Who are City gonna bring out the bench? Doesn't, and City's team, man, like I said, where's the, where's our players? I feel like we are just lacking. We're lack, like it's like. Williamson's ball forward. Stanius gets her first touch of the evening. City's team has a lot of potential. As I like, do, City have world class players on their team. I say, that, ooh, see, look at that, already hit the post, oh my goodness, Kim Little wide open, bro, who's marking Kim Little, holy mother, almost an opportunity, but yeah, good cross from McCabe here, and the header from Caitlin Ford finds her text right there, as you see, or was that Black Stenius? Yeah, I think that was Blackstinian. No, let me see. I can't tell, man. I can't tell. I, th I think that was Blackstinian, though. Shit. See, y'all make, make it more difficult when y'all all got the same hair color. <laughs> y'all all got the same hair color. Y'all make it difficult for us to who know who you are. <laughs> Please. And that's what I say. You have to be individual. I, if y'all all change your hair color, y'all not being unique. Y'all all being the same. What they do that at? Anyways, whatever. You can do what you want with the hair, but I'm just saying it makes it difficult for us to know who you are. You're all blondies. <laughs> and not natural blondies. And it's kind, of, it's kind of weird too. It's like what? All right. Anyways, off the off that subject, um, Arsenal Arsenal here with some with a good chance. With a good chance. Kennedy finds Dana. Dana's looking for. Mm, it's Kelly. It's Kelly here. Kelly. Bunny on top of the box. It's gonna be. Hemp gets that touch back to uh, Bunny. 
Just ooh, almost. City, come on, they're 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 edging forward. All right, Kelly with the big shove out the way. Get out the way. Ooh, that was deflected so close. I was going in with a big shove. Kelly was like, "Hold on, I'm in the gym, fam. Do you see how she shoved her? She gave her a good shoulder. She was like, uh, uh, get, get out my way. That's what I like to see, Kelly. Let's go. Sometimes you need a little bit of force. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's like, I've been, I've been in the gym putting in the work. I was like, you can sh sh shove the shove the, the look, 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 look. Looks like, looks like Russell maybe coming. No, looks like she's sitting down. Yeah. I don't know who, like I said. Oh, that's what I meant to say. City have a lot of potential on the team. Okay, so yeah, looking at it now, we only have one, two, three. Remember, when we did our City roster update, out of like almost the 22 players, only seven had been there for longer than... Um, we didn't even have a starting lineup that had been there two years or longer, right? So that's what's crazy. This City team. So City have about three or four Euro player, Euro winners, excuse my French. And it's a lot of potential. The t this City team, I don't think is... It doesn't have the players like Chelsea have. It doesn't have the players that Arsenal have. The players that have are more veteran-like. City have a lot of potential great players, potentially great, phenomenal players. And they're all together here in this massive club with a lot of money that has a lot of... It's going to get them fit. It's going to get them healthy. But this is a team of, okay, we're going to come here and get into the best shape of our lives and then go f to another team and play our best football. It's a lot of potential for the City team. It's not world-class like it was when we had it. When Steph and Lucy and, and, and we had all of our Kuro, we had Stanley, we had Ellen White, we had Jill Scott. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. We had all of them. We had all the England players, right? And so that was that's what hurt it. City. We had all the England players and when they all and when after the Euros they decided to take their talent somewhere else, right? And some stuck around, some stayed. And so that is something that hurts City of being so fixated of only having England players. And as you see in other teams, they got a lot of different flavors internationally, internationally speaking. You know what I'm saying? And that is the downfall of teams being so fixated on a certain representation of your club. And you're not broadening, broadening your horizon. You're not expanding. To, so now we're seeing. Now we got some Spanish players. Now we got some Australian players. Now we got some Swedish players. Now we got some Japanese players. You know what I'm saying? Now we got some Jamaican players. You know what I'm saying? See, the difference from that to to just having strictly English players. Now this city team is just full of potential, but. Will the potential come together? It's going to be difficult because there's just like some of these players, it's a lot of potential. You're just like, damn, like, um, you know, we know we have a world class goal scorer, Bunny. Bunny's world class, hands down. Ever since Bunny came, she's been scoring goals. So Bunny will, this hands down, one of the best signings City has made. Being a non English player. <clears throat> She's one of the best signings, no cap, no doubt, hands down, tenfold. And we got to see who will be the next best signing City has signed that is not English. Because um, we know we have English talent, but we, we need different types of talent. You know? So with that being said, we have a lot of potential in the Spanish players like Alexandri. We see Layla. She's an older player, but she's not getting consistent minutes. So we have Alexandri and we have Losada. OG, but OG, but she ain't really getting a lot of minutes. You know what I'm saying? OG, but yeah. You know. Also looking at, uh, we got the young Dutch fullback, a lot of potential. We got the young Norwegian fullback, Black Julie, a lot of potential. We 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 still we got the 
the pretty much the most popular Venezuelan player. I, I don't know no more. I, Ooh, luckily she got a cat leak got a touch to that. I don't know another Venezuelan player. A lot of potential. Dana. We got the Australians. Kennedy, she's like <sighs> Kennedy reminds me of Buhadi. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I get the energy of her. That's what I get from her. She has Buhadi energy when it comes to like you know, the seesaw effect. Um And I Yes, okay, so Kennedy's in a different case. <laughs> but Rasso, just a lot of potential. I feel like, like I said, in a way she had, I feel like she, it's very difficult because she's playing behind Kelly, you know, and Kelly's getting the start. She's the Euro, she's England's, you know. You know? And uh, Rasso, but we got the young Mary Fowler. A lot of potential. You know, a lot of potentiality from the City team. But sometimes the potential is not enough to be a world-class team. You know, sometimes you can put all the most potentially talented players together and it just not get it done. Okay. And um, that's why it's so crazy to see, to think that City are on this streak. I can see it how they were before, but right now I'm just like... Because I'm just getting deeper into the aspect of the matches, it's like, hmm... You know, the, you know. Shit, shit, is it? Is this shit really working? Is this potential team really becoming a really sound squad? You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't to know who I ain't to know the entire out of all the Swedish players. I ain't hear her. You know what I mean? Real shit. <laughs> Hasegawa, I ain't heard of her. Japanese, what? Where are thou you? I ain't never heard of you. You know what I mean? Like, that's what's so crazy is like, after, you know, of course, all our England players left, we got like players we ain't never really heard of that much. Like, who are, who are you? And that's very interesting. Like, City, are y'all not a, that's the thing. It's like, the, it's like sometimes I feel like the old, the, like, OGs are like more like veteran players. Like, I'm trying to give, let me give you a good example. Like, a Caitlin Ford, she's sound. You know, been in the league, been playing football for a while, in her mid twenties. You know, City. Who have they attracted around that range that we have seen consistently around that around that range, right? Around that age. I'm trying to think. We have younger players than Caitlin Ford, like a Julie, like a St. Fowler. It's like maybe Rasso, but like Rasso is the type of player different from Caitlin Ford. You know what I'm saying? Like different, her, her potential, like I said, like we, you know, who, what type of player is Rasso? She's more than just a pacey player, you know what I mean? Like, who is she? What's her identity? And that's why it's very interesting to see how the players view themselves when you hear them talk about how they see what position they play and stuff like that. Um, but, um, hmm, it's just, um, the team, the team, of course, will grow in chemistry as they continue to play more together. But as you can tell, like, it's a lot of, just a lot of new energies, a lot of new players for the first time ever experiences playing, you know, these types of matches. And you, I feel like I can tell, but it's like, I still can't believe they're doing just as good as they are. You know, and, and this makes me wonder about the league, you know, so. But sometimes that's all you need. I mean, you know, you do have a, a, a really, world, you have a, a world-class striker, so I mean, shit, I guess. Okay, and then like the front three for City is banging, you know, so. But um, still 0-0, zero, zero, 76 minute, good lord. I hope this one doesn't come down to like a late heartbreaker. Or, but if it is, it's going to be Arsenal's late heartbreaker. Neither team. Neither team have found, I mean, well, when um, Arsenal made the subs with the two Swedish players, Hartek had the opportunity right away, and that could have been the, the, the go-ahead goal. 
water break. Uh, gives the players an opportunity to get some refreshment and a word of encouragement from their boss. Still time for somebody to win this game without the need for extra time. Gareth Taylor always pretty cool on the touchline. Never see him ranting and raving. Getting his instructions across in a measured way. But in a way, I feel like this isn't like the most... Like, yes, it is. Like I already told you before. Yes, City have already won this competition last year. So to me, it's like, I don't mind them, you know... But the big match is this Saturday or Sunday because it's the league. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to be playing at home, so it's very important. And I don't want them to fucking lose at home to fucking Arsenal. Let's see whether Alexander is going to continue. It's worth taking the risk. Without their best players... Arsenal now are a team that have pretty much a lot of Euro winners. Um, but um, Alexandria coming off, Layla's coming in. But yeah, Arsenal's two Euro win, two Euro. Yeah, Beth Mead, Mead up, both of them are Euro winners now. Beth Mead now. But yeah. Should be a like like swap that More than comfortable at left back. I want to. Uh, we'll see. Where um, Minima goes after this injury. I don't know if she's going to stay with Arsenal. She don't really have to either. But I think she'll stay. She, I don't know. I just hope she goes. When she does leave. When she does leave Arsenal. I hope she goes to this a team that. Because Minima's a great player. I just really hope she goes to a team that's not like. I want her to, to play Champions League. But I hope she goes to a team that. Um. That will spice up the league, you know, or spice up whatever league she goes to, you know. And whoever gets her is gonna have to splash that cast on that ass. You know what I'm saying? She probably will be worth more than Peniel Harder, Sam Kerr, Kira Walsh. Miedemont's gonna be have. They're gonna. They don't have to bring out the guac for Miedemont. They're gonna be like, ah, here's. They gonna have to bring out the guac. I mean, she got a statue at, in in Netherlands. You know what I'm saying? She's she's the goat. She's a young goat, and she's a cancer. So it's like, how can you not love Mitoma? You know what I'm saying? She's literally a nurturer. I think she's a cancer moon, and I think she's a cancer. Well, we know she's a cancer sun, but I think she's a cancer moon as well. If that's the last thing, if that's the last thing, I saw, I think I saw that. So like, she's she's got that mother energy. You know what I'm saying? So how can you not love Mitoma? Um, and so. Whatever team wants her, gonna have to splash the cash. Facts. Um, and so it's gonna be very interesting. I don't think Arsenal are gonna be able to keep her. I mean, she's been with Arsenal for a really long time, you know. I think so. It feels like it. Every... <laughs> it feels like it. It feels like it. Kelly. She needs. Kelly puts ah, Kelly's cross away. shot. As far as Hasegawa. So with Layla coming in for Alexandri, just a little bit more. Uh, well, well, Layla is, you know, she's sound. Barcelona, uh, you know, Champions League champion. And she has good distribution out wide when she does get those chances. I've seen her. I remember when I was watching her. Um, for 30 more and there may be penalties too to decide who makes it through to the final. But yeah. That's so far the only sub for City. Very surprising, right? So he's leaving, you know, some of the people on the bench. He's letting this team rock out. He's letting this team fight. This is the team so far he's got off. Got some subs for Arsenal. What's going on? Just let them make the substitution. Jesus. They be acting like it's a big deal. <laughs> Change can be made. 
Neil Williamson is going off. And Jen Beatty, who started for City in the 2018 final defeat against Arsenal. And the 2019 win. I'll take. Arsenal makes some subs defensively. Okay. I don't really think she did anything. I'm penalized there. She's not sure why. <laughs> I don't think she did. Hip just did. She was trying to move him, but she couldn't move him. That's what happened. <laughs> Are we gonna get a replay? She was really trying to move him. She was like trying to like, but him wasn't moving. You know what I'm saying? She was like him was like, bitch. I excuse my French. She him was like, I've been in the gym. You ain't moving me. I'm a brick wall. But that's what it looked like. She was trying to, but that's cheesy. I don't think that should have been a foul. But whatever. She was the victim of that. All right, free kick, Arsenal. Lord have mercy. All right, that wasn't a good free kick, thank goodness. But Kim Little's been finding herself on the up and Kim Little, stop giving her fucking space up on top of the penalty box. Stop. Ooh, this was real good. Oof. oof. <sighs> no! Ooh, we Oh, shit! Ah, uh, Arsenal. They're they're getting close. They've looked more likely in the second half. Their chances have been clearer than the City ones. Here's McCabe. I don't let her do you like that. Don't let her do you like that. Don't let her do you like that. There you go. McCabe silly. Mm. A lot of space here. Ford has to accept the throw, took it quickly to Maritz. He's Ford again. That's not much to aim at in the middle. Hertig's there though! Dang, Hertig. I'm surprised she missed it, but she's been finding space for herself. She's had the best chances, Arsenal, since she's come on. She's tall. She's big. She ain't small. You ain't, you ain't missing her. Wow, right there. This kind of puts it wide. Yeah, so Alex Greenwood was the closest. Kirsten, she has to be able to get in front of her. Don't allow the ball to come to her. But then again, that's Alana Kennedy and um, Greenwood's um, defensive ma matchup. I do here with some strength and a shot. Yeah, Magnum, I enjoy watching Magnum. You know, she's, 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 um, no, oh, she no region. She no region. Yeah, she is no region. And she's a very unique. Oh, Kelly, Lord. <laughs> Kelly, you are the yellow, fam. You are the yellow. Oh. Because. Just a talking to, because the first yellow he gave her was, I want to say, how do you say, it was harsh. And again, the foul was on McCabe too. Mm. Oof. Getting lucky, City. Kelly, but like I said, I feel like she owes Kelly a, a lenient one, because she ain't been giving yellows the same foul. She had, I think that's why, you know, we cool, we cool, we cool, you know what I'm saying? So I'm glad she didn't show her another yellow, because I would have been salty. City cannot go down the 10 ladies. Shout for a from the cannot happen. Kennedy needs some treatment real quick. 
Let's see, this is the... I'm guessing... Well, they're showing us what happened to Kennedy. I didn't really see it, but... She, I think it was when she cleared the ball. Whoosh! Whoosh! Mm. Goodness. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, I'm guessing we're gonna get some extra time. That's what it looks like. But I think the next foul Kelly does do, it will be a yellow. If she does commit a foul, so she needs to be really careful. Referee ain't gonna give her no more talking to after this one. I think I think that's it. Alright, so we got some subs. Rasso and Captain Steph coming in. So we got some, some energy. We got OGs. We got Earth Signs coming in. Tor Taurus. Taurus Steph. Virgo. Rasso. So we got that Earth energy coming in. To be a little bit more practical. To be a little bit more solid. She may be coming in for... Uh, and Kennedy may be coming off for Steph. So I don't, I don't mind that substitution. And then, of course, Rasso probably coming in for... Uh, I think she has to come in for Kelly because she's just Kelly's just pushing it right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, I think I think she'll come in for Kelly. We'll see though. No, yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, I guess she coming for her. Is she just is she's one foul away from getting a red card <laughs> or getting a second yellow, right? All right, we got the subs. More subs. Uh. All right. Free kick, Arsenal. Oh my goodness, 89 minutes. <sighs> oh, that girl, Sandy. Kind of like you know Sandy, like in uh, Greece. I don't know if you ever seen that movie. But Sandy is the girl that Danny ends up falling in love with. But good hands here. <sighs> Solid. Solid. Cape's down. What happened here? Rasso, look. I guess Rasso. Hey, hey. Uh, uh, those. Well, anytime. Um, I think when those two match up against each other. What? Oh, security? Bull? Mm. Alright, City, I'm not sure how much extra time we have uh, for these 90s, but can y'all hurt Arsenal? I'm not too sure how many minutes they... Ooh. Oh! Ooh! Alex Grimm, a good tackle. Lacking a bit of confidence in front of goal. I'm surprised uh, Maxinius didn't shoot that. When she got some space. Well, how much time do we have? Beat it. I still want to get this done without the need for extra time. McCabe. Here's Hurtig. He's cut back into a great area. Uh, that's a foul on, um, not us. That's a foul on Arsenal. Because McCabe was, she came in behind Rasso. And Rasso's strong too. They're similar in stature. I think Rasso's a little smaller, but strength-wise, she probably, she probably could take McCabe 1v1. Accidental, I think. You see them? Ooh, right there. Yeah. Okay. Out of control. How does McCabe not have a yellow? I swear she be getting in the way. She be getting in the way with a lot of shit. I I swear. I think it's because she got that Venus energy. She got the Venetian. She's a Taurus. So she she be getting that. She be got that. She got that Venus. And Venus be like, bitch, don't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think she she. How does she not have a yellow? I don't understand. She's one of the most physical players out here because she's a bull. You know, a bully out here. No cap. No cap. 
out here in McKay bullying people. Yeah. Real talk. But she's a fun player to watch. You like her energy, you know what I'm saying? She's the type of player that you want to see. And she's been playing. And like I said, she doesn't play. She play I forget what nationality she is. Like Republic of Ireland or something like that. So she's, you know, she's, you know, unfortunately, you know, her national team, you know, you know, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. So many clearances. Ooh. Him. Oof. Solson gets there. Okay. I don't know how freaking Kim Little got past those players, but. Wow. City clearing that line. Arsenal are like, oh my goodness, we can't get past City's wall for nothing, to be honest. Arsenal are going to be really upset for not finding that equalizer. I mean, for fi not finding a winner right here, you know. Multiple chances. Sandy here mis mishandles the ball. And then, of course, Blackstinius in the box. Damn! City get in the way. Hey, but that's why you got Gemini hands in the sticks. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Jimmy. Um, Let's see. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, is it a, a free kick? No, throw in. Four minutes we've had. Oh, what in the world? <laughs> now him skits a yellow. Let's see. I, it was like... They, like they were grabbing each other and then she kind of... They both... Hey, Marcus, she held on to her too. She was like, you like, he hold me. She, she was like, he like, like, come on now. That was it was a mutual. It was a mutual. Oh my goodness. I swear this has been the most entertaining match I've not the most entertaining non goal scoring match I've had commentary I've had in a while. Well, this might be the last chance for either side. I hope the the second leg uh, is a little better, and we get some goals. Ooh. Greenwood's down. Damn, some of these stoppages, so much stuff's been going down, I'm telling you, y'all. Like, jeez. It's been crazy. Greenwood, the player everybody's concerned about. Oh, she got hit by her own teammate. Like, okay, well, I gotta warm up my tea because it's kind of a little chilly. <laughs> oh, goodness! They're standing comfortably because they're going to be here for a while longer. Shout out to all the Arsenal supporters out here to see the ladies play. Y'all are MVPs. And all the citizens that made the trip to Meadow Park. She should be fine to come back on and continue. Alright, Alex Greenwood. She's on her feet. Hope she's okay. I'm gonna make it. All right, another great opportunity for Arsenal. I mean, to be honest, if Arsenal don't win, I mean, honestly, I'm gonna be like, hey, Pam, y'all didn't deserve it. Then I feel like they've had the better chances in the in the whole match. They haven't got it. So, like I say, if City end up winning, it's great for City. But if Arsenal do, I feel like they deserve because they've had the chances. Um, <clears throat> so that's just how I feel. But if City can snag a winner here, you know, I don't want, that's the thing, I don't want City to win here and then lose. You know, I'd rather them lose than win. I want, I want them to beat Arsenal in the league. 
I don't I don't mind this tournament because like I said they've already won it last year that's just how I see it as but I know that every match is very important for the ladies and of course who doesn't want to win every trophy in every match but as me looking at the bigger picture you have to do you, does City have to sacrifice one or the other you know or can they do it both I feel like I felt like they could do both, but based upon the match, Arsenal should be in the lead. Alright. So... What happens now? Extra? Are we finished? What's going now? Arsenal in the second half there. We're at full time after 90 minutes. It's Arsenal. Full time? Zero zero? No way. This is no way. Nah. That, that, we're just leaving zero zero? Well, you're gonna see That's it? Now, just a draw? The opportunity to do another team talk. I'm confusion. Who has got the Are you kidding me? For the extra 30 minutes here. That's it? So they're gonna have a second leg? Oh, what's going down here? I need to see what's going down. I can't, this can't be it, y'all. Let's have a look at some of those chances from the second half then. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna look at all of Arsenal's opportunities. <laughs> Really Dude, but City with some defense back here, you know what I'm saying? I, I gotta give it up to the ladies. They scrambled back, played solid defense. It's a very, you know, even with the defense, with, you know, anytime you have. I ah, like Hartik had like two good shots when she came on. Axtenius as well. Started against West Ham at the weekend and didn't score on the bench tonight. Had the chance to score. Oh yeah, this was almost scary. I'm like, Sandy dropped that one. Literally right in front of uh, Black Stinius. <laughs> Alex Greenwood. Me and Alex Greenwood. <laughs> Being the captain right there. Well, it's like you have, we had the OGs in defense too. Steph and... Um, and um, um, wait, 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 there's no way. The ladies back on the field. I was like, there's no way this is it. I don't know why it said full time, right? I don't, they're not going home, right? <laughs> Hold on. Let's see what's going down. We got to see what's going down. Um, is it penalty kicks? I'm thinking it's penalty, right? Penalty kicks? Or I thought it was just going to be extra time. Right? We'll see what happens. I'm not. I'm still confused. <laughs> I'm still confused. It should be another. Um, yeah, another 15 minutes for each, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 As we expected, extra time. Okay. 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 So, like I said, you saw the replays. You saw how many chances Arsenal had. All right, it's Arsenal's game to lose at the moment, to be honest. Uh, so City, let's go. You know they have a tough test because they are playing away from home. And um, chance to win it in normal time. See, let's see what happens. Second half or extra time starting now. A lot of people left already. <laughs> the supporters. It's getting late. Might already have it planned, of course. Emma. Also, yeah, I was wondering. I had talked about in the last match 
Like, do in England, do y'all have concession stands? Because usually I don't really see a lot of people eating in the concession stands. So I really wondered, like, do y'all have, like, a concession stand? Like, during, like, when you, can y'all, or do y'all, or, or, or can y'all bring food to the uh, stadium? Because that's something that, uh, I don't know why I just came, to, I was, um, of course, observing, you know, how, I mean, did she not get pulled? Like, come on now. Where the yellow at? Where the yellow at? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Get that yellow out. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Now her and him both have the yellow because she gave him the yellow for actually holding her. And she over here grabbing him. Uh-huh. Yeah. Huh. All right. It forward, it's turned into a really good pass for him. All right, him. We will see what type of uh, opportunity City create for themselves. Oh my goodness! Not in sync. Not in sync. Not in sync. Greenwood always almost had one touch too many. Damn, Angel Doll got taken out here. Did Angel Doll not just get taken out? Fuck me. It's a goal. But did not Angel Doll... Come on now. Did she not get out? I mean, like I said, Arsenal... I mean, they've been deserved a goal. I'm not surprised, okay? They've been deserved a goal. So. But I feel like Angel Doll got fouled. And that sprung the opportunity. What the fuck? What? Look, look, look. No, oh, uh, bro. And she did the rest. I need another replay of Angel Doll. What happened here? Did she get fouled? Because after that, it was like a quick counter. Ah, okay, man, whatever. I, I <laughs> Ah, uh, well, Arsenal in the lead. <clears throat> like I said, I can deal, I can, I can, I'm okay with that. In a way, yeah, I'm okay. Like I said, I, I don't mind City sacrificing this trophy to be able to get Champions League. You feel me? So here, in line. Oof, what was that? Yeah. Teammates, Rasso and, 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 and Cat Lee, teammates. Dennis will be feeling a lot better about life having missed that golden opportunity near the end of the game. So it was the uh, the Swedish connection that ended up getting Arsenal ahead. Greenwood, her cor her corner was good. Mm, goalkeeper's out. Oof. Hey, that was a good chance for Sydney because the goalkeeper came out and she was nowhere near the, the football. Alright, also Reddits is on yellow, so him make sure you use a use abuse that. She's gotta be careful. Ooh. Sure missed it though. To go up. Mm. Damn. Okay, Russell, quick feet, getting there to the ball first. Diana, no, no, Diana. Come on, Zitsi, why are you not firing shots in the midfield or anything? 
good response from City. Mm, go help Elgin though. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? I don't know what they're doing right now. What, what is this? What is this? It's a decent cross as well, but again, Rafael is there. Been excellent, the Brazilian, in the centre of the Arsenal defence tonight. Important. With Steph out here now, we have a. a ooh. Asso with a great shot here has uh, the goalkeeper make a save. Angel here gets this down. She gonna take a shot. Come on, you gotta get it quick off your feet. Bunny, her turn. Ooh. Layla here in the box as well, trying to help. Okay, that was a great distribution you saw from Steph uh, to Rasso. Rasso took that down very nicely and gave the goalkeeper a run for her money. <clears throat> with that shot. Well done. This is the opportunity a moment ago. Great run from Rasso. Felt she could score. And McCabe is lig is uh what do you call it? Lingering or limbering? She's not she's not max right now. So this is this is good. Rasso gotta got has to identify that. Just take her. Take her and she's on a yellow too, Rasso. Don't forget that. So yeah, there she is on the ground right now, McCabe. She's not, she's not full strength right now, and that's that says something for a Taurus. Hey, shout out to everyone tuning in today. This evening. Oh look, they do got concession stands. Thank you. Look, see, that's what I was asking for. I was like, do y'all got concession stands? It's a little tent, little TP out there. Well, it's not TP, lol. But yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, McKay, what, what did you do? Like, what came out your mouth right there? Like, gross. Um, but yeah, I wasn't too sure if y'all had concession stands in England, but it looks like y'all do, which is awesome. I would imagine, but it's just like it's so rare. You don't see it. You know, I don't really see a lot of people like. Um, then again, like. Yeah, but that's cool. We got that close up of it. It kind of like, yeah, it answered. It's funny how like you ask the universe some things and it's just like here, Nito, like we got you, yeah, we got you. Okay, uh, Nana here, uh, for hemp. Oh, Nana getting too close. Don't bring your defender there. Mm. Put it in first time. Sure. Oh. It was deflected. Handball. She was calling. What was she calling? Mm. Oh my goodness. Well, City are losing, right? So you know they need an equalizer, and uh, we got about like six more minutes, and um, you know then the second half of stoppage. And so, mm. and and Bunny really hasn't had like too many good looks. Like she hasn't really had any good looks. And Kelly came off, right? Yes, yeah, right. Uh, oh. Hey, what just happened? Coming on okay, I was like, okay, Laura Coombs comes on, okay. I was like, I know they didn't, like, put, like, okay, alright. <clears throat> okay, Laura Coombs comes on, uh, so we got for, uh, Christian, okay. I don't know what I want to say, her last name's, like, Casper, but I know it's not something like Casper, but it's, like, similar to sounding. But, uh, the Leo... 
Let's see Gallup. Is out for the Aqua. Okay, Hasegawa here finds Dana. And she still gets it okay. Bolton. Greenwood. Hasegawa. And honestly, Dana, I feel like she needs to just like go come find the ball. You know, instead of make instead of allowing the ball to come to her, she needs to go get it. Because that's the only time she's really like getting on the ball. Like she's she's not really getting You know, Hasegawa and Jindo have had a lot of touches in the midfield. She's probably had the less touches out honestly out of everyone on the field, her and Bunny. I think well Bunny's had some touches, but she's probably had the fewest touches on the field. Greenwood. Offsides, Basso, come on. And like, there's a Swedish takeover too. There's an influx of Swedish managers. I mean, but you know who the goat is, Pia Sunhaga. You know she the goat. Yo, you know Pia's the goat. Out of all the Swedish managers we have, you know Pia Sunhaga's the goat. Don't get it fucked up. Don't get it. Don't get the game fucked up. Alright. If you don't know, now you know. Alright. If, if you don't know, now you know. That's what's crazy. Because I think she did manage Sweden for a little bit. And she helped Sweden beat America. That's what I'm saying. Like, I was surprised that she wasn't more successful. She wasn't more successful with Sweden. But it is very difficult to manage your own national team, right? Basso. Ooh. Dana. Damn, I'm telling you! Oh my goodness! Lovely pass that from Angle Dart. Also controlled it on the chest, bashed it across the face of goal. Was this deflected? Oh my goodness. An audacious back flick. Couldn't the goal of the season if that gone in. I swear. That's why she needs to play striker, okay? I know you're like, no, you know, no, maybe not. She's, she hasn't been able to put them away. She needs more opportunities just to play that role. I feel like she does burn a lot of energy running around the midfield, not getting that many touches. And think about it. Good touches from Rasso, man, since she's come on. Angel Doll, she has to take a shot. Okay. Ooh, so close! So close. Rasso with some good touches. Angel Doll here. Like I said, that's the shot she got to take. She had to take it, right? Unlucky. Corner. <laughs> Alright, this is the couple final minutes of this uh, first half, yeah? Greenwood's delivery. Fayana there again, only as far as Coombs, though. Here's Hemp. Mm. Damn, Layla and Layla got her way. <laughs> And that's what happens when. Okay, well, anyways. Uh. <clears throat> One minute and change. At the end of the first period of extra time. Morton clipping it up to the edge of the box. Coombs. He's angled out. This is Hemp. That's a decent cross in the game. Damn. Able to come and claim. There's been lots of contenders for player of the match. Katie McCabe got it. 
Sabrina D'Angelo was a contender too, I'm sure. Uh, Bunny, like I said, she hasn't had any chances. I got the ball too much. That should be it for the first. Castellanos. We just got one more opportunity. Come on, gotta move the ball quicker. Uh, nah, that's it, that's it. She, when she turned around. She, well, the Aquarius Blackstenius got Arsenal up 1 0. The Swedish connection. Oh yeah, think about it, because they got a Swedish manager too, so it makes sense why they attracted the Swedish talent, right? Now I see, now I see, I see what you're doing, Arsenal, you got a Swedish manager, now you got two really good Swedish forwards. I see, Arsenal, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, um, wait, is it... Ahem. <clears throat> So, you know, like I said, Arsenal are trying to hold it out for 15 more minutes. Um, City, we'll see if they can get an equalizer. And I don't really want it to go to penalties, but that's always interesting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. What's now or never for Gareth Taylor? Has he got the so, Taylor, like I said, in his career, he was a really good goal scorer. Um... And that's really um based upon Wikipedia. He was he, he scored a lot of goals in his career. So that's really nice, you know, to have. So he should be like a striker manager. I mean a striker coach, not a uh, You know what I'm saying? Like ah uh, oh you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, sometimes well, we already know. But like yeah, he was a really good striker apparently. So, you know. I let's say he can, he has to leave City, but he could become like the striker manager or something like that. Striker coach, you know what I'm saying? Help, help out, you know, some of our players hit the target like he did back in his day. I'm not saying that he's that old. I'm not sure how old. He's probably like 40s. I think he's older than oh boy. He's probably older than him. I'm not too sure if he played professionally. Damn, he was all the way on the field, boy. <laughs> that boy was all the way on the field. <laughs> but I'm not too sure if he's play, if, um, if he played any football in his career. But we know Taylor did. I would I would imagine I would think most of the male man most of the male coaches and most of the female coaches played a little bit I think. And that's the thing like sometimes I'm like is that the only way that these players become managers you have to play. And I know that's not like, and I'm not saying you have to be, well, we know you don't have to play like, you don't have to be great. We know that for sure. But like, is that the only way, is that the only thing people are looking at? Because player, people that like have had the experience and in a way, how does it benefit the team? And, and also in a way, how does it hinder the team? Because like me as an observer, like I ain't never played football in my life, but like I, now that I've been just an ex, I'm an expert now. I feel watching, um, and it's pretty crazy that you need like licensing Greenwood. to like manage Shadow football or like to coach football. It's just ridiculous. It's just more shadow government sort of mentalities. Stupid. Because. But anyways, yeah, that's and there's so many classes like you have a UF, UFA. I want to I was going to say a UFO, but like a UEFA A B C D A F G license. It's like what the fuck? I don't know. I think you just need one license. Say, "Okay, yeah, you can coach any football." Like, why do you need so many like why do you have an alphabet of what licensing? They are the same, bitch. You coach football. See? You see how the shadow government does? I just hope y'all see how ridiculous some some of these things are. The things that they make us do to get in their organizations. You know what I'm saying? So fuck that shit. You just create your own. Like I said, like, you won't let me in, bitch. I'll build the fucking door for my own my own self. And I'll fucking walk through that door myself. Yeah. Bitch. You know what I'm saying? You won't let me in the door? Okay, I'll build my own door and I'll walk in myself. And that's pretty much what, you know, in a way. 
what you have to do nowadays, especially if you don't come from that geographical background, um, and you know, you're kind of, the cards that you've been given are not what they like, you know what I'm saying, you don't fit their demographic, you don't fit their, you know, physique, or like, you don't fit their criteria, you don't fit the agenda that they're trying to push at the moment, you ain't gonna get in. You ain't getting in. You ain't gonna be a good little sheeple. You ain't getting in. That's why you need to be independent and and fucking build your own door, and get in. Wait and get in and create your own lane. You know what I'm saying? You know, I saw like I'm a life path number one, y'all. Like I said, all I can do is continue to show y'all that I'm an individual, and I and all I can do is just do that, do that, and do that, and do that, literally. And so, like I said again, um. Life path. It, I'm getting a little flunked out right now. Getting a little too. I'm flying. I'm flying. I'm flying away from the game. I'm flying away from the game here. <laughs> if you want to know your life path number, all you got to do is add your birthday together. Then you'll know what type of energy or what type of represent. It, not energy, but like yes, energy, but also what type of life path you'll have. Um. What life path you'll have to take as an individual. Like I said, I'm a life path one. So I'm just... You know, what the fuck does number one look like, huh? What does number one look like? No cap. That's why I think people, like, in my reality, that's why people, you know... That, you know, that's why some, you start to realize why you have to go through certain things in your life. Because of the role that you play for the collective. And once you understand that, you realize, oh, okay, fuck, this just comes with, it comes with the territory, as they say. And so, like I said, for me, I'm a life path one, and I'm a born leader, right? And so, motherfuckers hate that shit. Oh! And, and, and look, I have to be the first one to fuck up for y'all. And that's, people, you rather be, I'd rather be the first one to, to do it than the second one. Like, you had to, like I said, everything that I do, everything that I've done. I've been a literal representation of what not to do and what to do based upon what I've done. So people have to, they get to see my mistakes. And, um, which is honestly, I'd rather be the first one to fuck up. Like I said, it's it's a great feeling to like, you know what, well, fuck, I'm the one that first put myself out here. Like, you didn't do it until I did it. And it's not just like that, but it's just like, I have the strength. I have the, um, you know, what do you call it? The confidence. I have the, um, and you know, with being a life path one comes with a lot of challenges because people don't like the leaders. People shit on the leaders because we were the first ones to do it. And, and, and then with that comes, you know, responsibility to teach the others. And, you know, we don't get credit, but we, everyone knows we were first. It's okay. You don't have to give me credit, bitch. I don't need your credit. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. I don't get a little flunked out. But uh, that's what life path number one is all about based upon my interpretation. Your life, you can interpret it how you want to, but it's hard out here in the streets being a number one. You know what I'm saying? Being number one. It's very difficult. Beautiful balance about But... You know, whatever life path you have. Some life paths are really shitty, though. I feel. Some of them, like, I feel like... But I think everyone's life path is for their path in that aspect, so... Alright, I'm gonna get off that life path stuff. Get back to the match. Um, <clears throat> City, zero. Arsenal, one. Come on. We have, like, ten minutes, nine minutes left. We'll see if City get that equalizer. Because they need one goal. Because nah, we are talking about one. Uh... And then after that, I mean, looks like they're playing football back there too. Also, like, is is me like also I, I want to know like, think about it. City play at a football stadium called the Academy Stadium, which is ridiculous, right? Um, and so is Meadow Park another Academy Stadium? Like another? It's just not called Academy Stadium because it looks fairly familiar. It looks similar to a City Stadium, uh, Academy Stadium, you know. Similar to, so, I, and I also wonder is, is the pitch full, a full length? Like, it looks, sometimes it just looks like some of the football fields don't look like, when I watch the, the Mexican League, I feel like their football fields are huge. 
And then I come in, and I watch England's team, I'm like, English, when I watch the English league, I'm like, man, these football fields are, they look smaller. And I'm not sure if that's just based upon, okay, Mary Fowler's coming in, let's go. The, another Aquarius, bro, I'm telling you, we're, City is like OP with Aquarius energy, okay? And I'm just telling you, once again, Aquarius is, we're in the age of Aquarius, so... The Aquas, the aliens, me, we're taking over, like, everything. Every, literally, even football. <laughs> but, yeah, so Mary Fowler, super, 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 super hyped for her. Um, in a way, she's a talent that is like, damn, you know, she hasn't really got that many minutes with City. Um... She could, I feel like, fuck, let her start instead of Nana. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm sorry, not sorry. It's just like, I feel like, why not give her an opportunity? But he's been, so, he's been committed to Dana. Taylor, he's been committed to her. But I, I'm over here like, and then again, I it makes sense because he's like, since you're on that 16 game unbeaten streak, right? But, I just... Yeah, I feel like, you know, he, he brought an angel, he's he was giving Laura Coombs a break and he was bringing an angel doll, why don't you give Dana a break and bring in Mary Fowler? You know? But, that's just me being a man, me being a man. And don't forget, you can play FIFA, the latest installment of FIFA, in the latest installment of FIFA, you can play with these two teams. Arsenal and Chelsea and I didn't I haven't got to see Arsenal's face scans but sit some of sit some of City's face scans are pretty sweet I can't wait till they have like a career mode too and I hear that they may put the Champions League in there so we may get some new teams we'll see though you know you can't really trip oh oh don't cross the line fam <laughs> you know, don't cross the line, fam. All right, six minutes. Here's Maris. Trying to cut it back towards Blackstenius, or maybe just trying to knock it off a city player and out for a corner. Five minutes to go. Man, City. <clears throat> Hope they're going to be ready for the match during the weekend. They look a little sluggish out there. A little bit. Especially that midfield. Asagawa's been played a lot of minutes. Him goes down. Some pretty spicy challenges in this game. Magnum here with the foul. Ooh. Well, yellow card has been shown. And I'm still not sure if Magnum fouled Angel Doll on that opportunity, which can what ended up in a goal. Because I'm gonna have to go back and replay. But Damn, him pulled up. What happened? Him's down. Him's down. Bunny here. Mary Fowler, her shot. Yeah, she kind of, She should have wrapped around uh, Laura Coombs. Here she is again, Mary. Mary. Dana here. Russell. <sighs> not, not there. That was difficult, too, because, like, Russell, like, you're looking, like, at, at where you're... And where you're trying to direct Bunny with that with that pot with that pass, that's that's tough. Whether it was uh, the effects of the previous tackle or well, we can find out now. Stumbles there, and yeah, I think she just tweaked something, mm. didn't she? And then she went to kick the ball. Looks like she pulled up. Well, we'll have to see if she's able to continue, but 
City will be loud to They're starting to cramp up a little bit. Period of time. Remember, they're going to do it all again up in Manchester on Saturday in the league. Yeah, it looks like this is looks like this is Arsenal's one nil win at home. Yeah. That's what it's looking like. City, you know, streak is looks like it's going to come to an end. Which I'm okay with, like I said again. <laughs> like, I'm okay with it. I know the ladies won't be happy, but... I mean, you gotta, you know, this is only, uh, you know, gonna take some... Like, they, haven't, they haven't played well. And like I said, City... St you see it's, you see how now a City team perform against a, a, a more tougher foe. And their potential isn't good enough to be the team... That, like Arsenal the potential that City have right now is not a good enough team to beat Arsenal and remember we were supposed to see Arsenal and City in the first match um, but when the the you know that lady died they cancelled everything like, like what no cap I'm sorry but it's like it's so crazy how the shadow government works. Like one lady dies, y'all just cancel football. Like what the fuck? But that's how the shadow government works. Like she had some. I understand what she was representation, what she was representing. Ooh, so crazy right there too. But like she was like one of the last reigning remaining queens we had, but when women were in on the throne. Now we have presidents, aka men on the throne. <laughs> Now we have presidents that y'all vote for every year or every four years. Yada yada, all that stuff. Bluntness. Um, let's see. Two minutes left. Well, one minute left. Arsenal are gonna be happy. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm just happy it's only one nil. They didn't really get thrashed. But yeah, Arsenal. You know, getting it done without their big guns. Yeah. So City need to. Things need to change with City. So, like I said, even. That's what I'm saying, like, and that's why it kind of made me mad that Arsenal and Chelsea drew, because I feel like Arsenal had a better team than Chelsea, and I was really salty that they ended up, it was a late Sam Kerr equalizer too, so I was just like, what the fuck, you know, and we already know Chelsea had that 201 indoctrinated into them, so, um, you know, but I feel like Chelsea need, there's, I think there should be no more Chelsea, there. Chelsea shouldn't win the title this year, and if they do, I mean, is the league, is this the best league in the world? You can't, don't, you can't tell me this is the best league in the world if Chelsea win the title again. I'm, I'm not, you, you, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced if Chelsea win the title again, I'm, I'm not convinced that this is the best league. And honest, I don't, you know, that's all I have to say. <laughs> because they've won it, like, in these last one, two, three. When they actually shouldn't have won the first one, City should have had won it, but they had to postpone the last match because of the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? The pandemic. You know what I'm saying? But City were supposed to win that league. That City were gonna win that league. Um, 2019, 2018 to 2019. City were gonna win that, and then but it ended up being Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. Because I think Chelsea are like three-time champion. I was like, there's no way they can. I was like, there's no way they're gonna let them four peat because I'm like, right now even their team's not even that good. Arsenal look like they have like a lot more better players than them, you know? Because I look at Chelsea, I'm looking like they don't, they're not playing Fran Kirby like they use Frank, like Frank Kirby, and then also who, who they don't have like they were huge. Emma Hayes was playing Fran Kirby, um. Uh, Neil Harder, Sam Kerr, and they were just lighting up the lighting up, and then they had, of course, Melanie Lopez, and who else did they have in the midfield? They had um, uh, Engel and someone else, and then in the back line they had Erickson and Millie Bride, and they had um, Carter. Was it Carter? What's her name? Not Carter. Um, fuck, what's her name? Was it? Is it Carter? Right I, now. No, I forgot. But yeah, Chelsea felt Chelsea have fallen off too. Like when it comes to their quality, like when I feel like when it comes to their talent, I mean, 
But then again, they added some really good acquisitions today. They added some French players. They added a great center back. I think they did get better defensively, but I feel like they're lacking offensively. Um, they did get Lord James, but I still felt like... Oh, that's it! It's settled! Arsenal get the win. Ah! Ah! It is what it is, yeah? It is what it is, yeah? It is what it is. Well, I thought we were going to just reset timer, right, I guess. Mm. Mm. I, you know, eh. I was a tough match for City. I didn't, like, they didn't create that much. There's a lot of things to say, you know, a lot of things to say. Um... Hopefully, we get a different performance next weekend. I think changes have to happen. And we're seeing the City team, you know, this team ain't Champions League ready yet. This team isn't, uh, um, you know, you see, you see Bunny there, you know, a little sad faces. Cheer up, ladies. Cheer up, ladies. It's all right. It's all right. We got Arsenal again. This in a couple ma couple more days to you know get re seek revenge, you know what I'm saying. Hopefully get a okay. These are more highlights of the of the uh, of the game, but uh, ugh. shout out to everyone still tuning in. Appreciate everyone that tuned into the commentary today. Um, like I said, Arsenal play again, Tigas play, and pretty much after this weekend, we're having international matches, the She Believes Cup is coming, a lot of, just, 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 a lot of international matches, y'all, just, just be looking out for your girl, with some, hopefully I get to watch some England, some France, some USA, some Canada, Brazil, you already know, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to wait for the goal, just to see if Angel Doll was fouled. I swear she was. Hold on, let me let me turn on the audio for y'all so y'all can still hear. Two chances which should have been converted, particularly that one. Okay, the game with an excellent delivery here. Merkiva dropped like, a lot of great That's saves in front of the box, though. City fought hard defensively, but offensively, they just lacked some some distribution. Our midfield wasn't, um, it didn't have, it didn't have the, the pool that we needed. Um, right here. Yeah, it was Angel not fouled? Because the way she went down, like, like, was she fouled? The way she went down looked like she was fouled. Did it not? Did it not? No VAR still. See right here. Oh fuck. See right here. Like, oh my goodness. I get I didn't get to see it again. Give us one more replay. One more replay. Nah, that's not it. Y'all let me oh fuck that. Yeah. But yeah. City responded pretty well. They could even have had an equalizer straight afterwards. So it's the substitute. It's another good chance, Russell. Could have cut that back for sure, but felt that she could score herself. It was a good save from D'Angelo, who played well in the Arsenal goal. I think this is another great opportunity from Angel Doll, too. It's just like, I thought this was. This could have gone in. That was so close. I feel like that was the one that we needed to equalize right there. Because there were so many bodies. I feel like that would have been perfect if, like, just shrugged in. If it snuggled in. Again, City kept pressing, but just no goal for them. It's so rare that they failed to score. That one just over Yeah, this one too, Rasso. But that, I think that was the last great opportunity for City. And that was that. Arsenal. All right, y'all. 
Oh, Arsenal won. City nil. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to Anita's joint. Hashtag extended joint where every day is payday, baby. It's your girl Anita flying high. Flying out of this third dimensional reality. And I'll see you on the next. This.